Hi there! Today I will show you how to make this piece of beauty from regular paper. You won't believe how easy that is. We're going to arrange the spheres out of such paper flowers. For these ones I used colored office paper, and this vintage one came out from an old coloring book. They are really amazing, not just as decorations, but also as gifts. And I will show you two versions of flowers, with three stamens in each petal and with one. The technique is almost the same, the difference is just about one move. Look here. Fold a paper square diagonally. And in this triangle now, fold the corners up to match with the top. Now match this band with this one. And make sure you fix the bands well with your nails. Now do the same on the other half. And we get a piece like that. A couple more moves and we're ready. Take the swing and open it like this. And flatten it. The paper already knows what to do because we've marked all the lines. And the same on the other half. You can help yourself with a finger. And flatten. And the last fold. The one that makes all the difference. Fold this triangle backwards. And make a move like this. And the same on the other half. And that's it. Now we just have to glue it together and we've got a petal with one stamen. To make three stamens, fold these corners inside. And here we've got our three stamens. Now I'll glue it and show you again. Here they are. All three of them. And the same for the pink one. Apply the glue generously. And press the sides together. The glue stick needs some time to work. If you're using a glue gun, that will make the process much faster. Look how lovely. To make a flower, we will need five petals like this. Adjust them a bit to add some volume. Now apply some glue here. If you're using a glue stick instead of a gun, it should be very soft and stick to the paper in small lumps. The glue stick doesn't work at once, so gently hold all the petals together. If you've got a glue gun, maybe it's better to use that. But the glue stick is also alright. So I've got the four petals ready. And now I add the last one. And we need to make it round. A bit more glue, and let's put all the petals in place. As the glue hasn't dried yet, the petals may move a bit, but don't let that scare you. Gently and patiently put them where they need to be. Then put it aside for a couple of minutes to dry. Then let's put together a piece like that. We're going to need six flowers for it. Sadly, in many tutorials they seem to neglect the process of putting that together. And I want to pay special attention to it. Look, we have five petals here. Pick one as the top and two on each side. Apply the glue to these two on the side. Again, be very generous at it.
Grab the next flower. This will be the top. And attach these two to the ones in glue. Both tops are on the same side. Like that. Now keep going just the same. Here's the top and here's the side couple. And that's where the next petal goes. Also pick the one that will be the top and apply the glue onto the side ones. Top to the top and join the sides. Remember, our glue stick is a slow guy, so don't rush. And don't get mad if your petals wouldn't want to stay in place at once. Just patiently bring them back. Now carefully put that aside and glue the next petal. And attach the remaining two flowers. One goes like this. On one side our piece is almost flat. And here we've got all the tops. I'm going to glue this flower like this. The top should also look this way. Apply the glue on all the side petals. And here's what we get. The last one goes into this ball. Its petals should match the joining points between the petals of the other flowers. Apply a good amount of glue on this one with special attention to the petals tops. And in it goes. carefully press together all the joining points. Ta-da! We've made some half magic. You can join these pieces into a garland or a wreath. But I'm going to make a sphere. And here's how you do it. Look, here we've got our tops. And here are the joining points. Put the tops on one part to the joining point on the other. Like this. And the hemispheres become a sphere. Now we just need to smear some glue all over the tops. At this stage, also make sure you remember to put some loop inside. I've got a rope with a large bead on it and I place it like this. And now we put the halves together. Tie a large knot on the other side of the rope. It will hide inside the sphere and the loop will safely stay in place. That's it. Now the magic is complete. They're really amazing. And so easy to make. Even though it takes a little time and patience. But the result is definitely worth it. I've made this tutorial as an example of Christmas decorations. But really, they are great for any time of the year.